haupikupoa wiki weekend inaopeleka vizuri uh, weekend inaopeleka vizuri kama siku zote ni kijana Tony nimerudi tena hapa na live video sikumbuki mara mwisho the last time nilifanya live video but uh, of course huwa nasema ya kwamba nikipara yani information ambayo inaweza kuwasaidia nyinyi lazima lazima ni kuja hapa ndio tuweze ku, kuongea moja mbili tatu hivi tuweze kusaidiana kimaisha na kama siku zote kuna kukumbusha ya kwamba chochote cha uwezekana kama utatia BD na kuna situation ambayo ni permanent kwa life ni wewe utie BD ujikaze kila siku ndio uweze ku make kwa life kabisa kwa hivyo kama hii ni mara yako ya kwanza kufika hapa Tony Vlog karibu sana na make sure that you subscribe like the video share na marafiki zako na kama siku zote wanasema kwamba hapa ni kuchanwana na kama leo you can see the topic today inasema Kenyans student international student in Finland kwa kwa scam tv baya sana mazi ni story nyingine yenye si fit kabisa ni story nyingine yenye si poa kabisa but i'm here so that we can get to educate each other tujue itakuwaaje tujue tunaweza kusaidiana aje especially for those people Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh sijui kama mnanipata. For those who are watching maybe let me know kama the sound iko sawa. Kama sauti iko sawa. Maybe somebody can comment. Somebody can, can comment so that we can go on ndio tuweze kuendelea. Mtu aniambie kama sound the sound iko poa kama unanisikia vizuri. Somebody 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 to just I, I just need a comment. Eh, na na just nenda comment kama unanipata vizuri kama unanipata vizuri so that we can go on sababu leo topic ya leo ni moto moto sana moto sana i feel like uh, yes sawa sawa thanks thanks wilson mm, that's that's all i wanted uh, so leo i mean topic ya leo ni noma sana na ni topic nyingine you know like it's it's a very sad story sababu nimekuwa nikifuatilia story for some time i think there was a time i did a video a couple maybe some few months ago and, uh, and by that time sikuwa sure na hiyo information but leo nikapata you know hiyo information hiyo information kwa citizen tv so um nataka tuongelee some some few things hapa some few things especially to my friends kutoka Kenya mimi nimetoka Kenya na nataka tuongelee hiyo story sababu hiyo ni story ambayo iko to so many people so that you don't get yourself kwa situation kama hii Imagine umelipa 1. 1. something million Kenyan shillings. Huh? And then is in a lost two hivyo. Huh? Maybe mzaya mo ameuza shamba ama amefanya kitu so that akulipie. I mean akuwezeshe so that ufike huko uone kama utatafuta maisha and you get to ba- to help your family back home. Right? And then mse anapotea nadho yako yote. 1.9 or something million and then umelipa tia, umelipa pia uh, i mean umelipa pia flight na hiyo ndio yote inapotea tu hiyo so tulia tu tulia tu hapa mpaka at the end of the video tujue itakuwaje tujue itakuwaje tuweze kuchanwana especially for those of you mnataka kuja hapa kama international student mnataka kwenda mingi Canada mnataka kwenda UK mnataka kwenda Australia mnataka kwenda Finland New Zealand and so many other places So hii story imekuwa au wasi waliambiwa walikuwa na contribute pesa etu wapeleko Finland. And uh, actually uh, every parent alikuwa analipa 1. I think one, around 1.9 million Kenyan shillings ndio waweze kupeleko Finland. That was the that was the agreement. And uh, wakalipa ile do wakalipa pia flight moja moja mpaka wapi Finland. Sasa hizi inasemekana like rent ijalipo walikuwa wamembwa sijui rent ita, ilalipo, italipo for 6 months eh wa Kenya i mean i, I mean hii ni kitu iko kwa Afrika kila mahali ndio wa Finland rent ijalipo for 6 months walilipa sijui walilipa rent for 1 month sasa hivi yao wasi wamepewa eviction notice ya kuambiwa kama hiyo pesa itakuwa imelipwa kwa Monday muta itabindi mtoki kwa hizi nyumba and then school fees pia umeambiwa kama itakuwa imelipwa itabindi tupe council student visa na ujue waki cancel student visa ina maanisha kwamba then these people are going to be deported back home so you can imagine as young they are umekuwa deported back home visa imekuwa umekuwa deported back home it's not easy to go back there again sababu ume violate zile policies zenye mlikuwa mni agree za international student and then kwa visa yako of course kwa passport pale 
ukisha ripotiwa imeandikwa huyu jamaa huyu msia alikuwa amedepotiwa from Finland so hata kama unataka kuna unataka kuna US unataka kuna UK unataka kuna Canada wale wasi wakiingia kwa history yako wanapata huyu msia alikuwa deported so kama ulikuwa deported you are somebody that they cannot trust so inakuzuia imagine inakuharibia reputation inakuharibia maisha yako na ni wasi tu wamekula do yako so kitu kitu nataka tuachanue leo ni mimi nikikuja hapa nilikuja kama student for those of you wanajua uh, of course niliwaambia when the time comes nitakuja kuwapea story yako wangu nitakuja kuambia itakuwaje ndio tuweze you know so that we can share these stories together to to grow pamoja so mimi nikikuja hapa siku nilifanya kila kitu peke yangu nilifanya kila kitu solo nika apply passport Kenya nikapita hiyo system ya Kenya nika apply passport nikatafuta shule nikalipa application fee kutoka uh, kutoka Kenya ya shule nika ku admitted wakantumia i20 via DHS i mean DHL nikapata i20 yangu nika fill nikalipa kitu wanaita service fee peke yangu sikufanywa na anybody so hii ni kitu ambao you can do by your own self au fanye tu unapatia msi 1. something million Kenyan shillings ama Tanzania ama Uganda hiyo pesa yote unapatia tu mse hapana no 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 i mean i will blame those people but i will also blame you know nitawekelea tu blame kidogo tu kwa ma student na ma, na parents wao sababu in this era tuko era fulani ya technology like any information you can get that any information from online unahitaji tu kuchukua laptop yako ama kuchukua simu yako kwenda cyber you get that information all right of course nashukuru sana mzee for the support okay and if this is your first time stopping by apa tony blogging please kumbuka ku subscribe like the video share na marafiki zako ambie ni kijana fulani wa hocha hapa kijana ambaye anapatiana information information ambayo ni ya power sawa sawa so nikalipa service fee nikajaza kitu wanaita ds160 peke yangu nikajaza ds160 nika book embassy nikalipa ile pesa embassy nikaenda nikapata visa date ya yeah, i mean interview date nikaenda pale interview nikachapa interview god akani bless nikapata nikapata visa and that's how i came to this place sikutuma mtu sikulipa agency right because i'm told kuna there are so many agencies back home i mean i'm not against them sababu wako biashara right for those when you legit for those when you legit ni sawa but kitu yenye nitakwambia ni you don't need to pay such kind of money because pale agency i'm very sure kienda pale wanakugonga 100000 kenyan shillings plus na si eti ni wao wanaenda embassy kufanya visa interview lazima wewe ndio utaenda wewe ndio uta show up kwa visa interview so wale kitu yenye wanakupatia tu ni the same information yenye unaweza pata online ni the same information yenye unaweza pigia toni simu hapa au muambie hey toni mazee kuna kuna shule nimepata ndio wamenipatia admission wamenitumia high 20 hivi unaweza unaweza ni call unachape stories za, za visa interview maswali zenye naweza expect pale right na mimi sikulipishi uende kule upate agency kwa kugonge 100000 Kenyan shillings so 200000 Kenyan shillings uende embassy unyimwe visa umepoteza 200000 Kenyan shillings hiyo ni pesa yenye probably ungepara visa unaweza unalipa unakuja hapo unalipa rent miezi mbili miezi tatu hivi na una survive so watu wangu wa power right you don't need a hotel agency but kama wewe ni msio uko na do kama uko na pesa ni sawa unaweza lipa agency sikukatazi but you don't need embassy you don't need a third party kutafuta shule kuwapatia pesa yako kulipa school fees unaweza fanya kila kitu uende embassy na ukuje hapa ulipe school fees yako because it's sad unaweza kwa mzaa yeye alikuwa aliuza kashamba ndio akupatie upate school fees and then msia anapotia na hiyo do yote ah huh? it, it, it is sad man na hiyo ndio shida yetu wa Kenya wa Afrika ah huh? una sparado wasi wao wasi walienda na hiyo do au wasi walienda na hiyo pesa na wasi wakuna pesa yeah i hope somebody atapelekwa kotini afungwe of which i doubt but pesa imepotea sijui kama itakuwa recovered but mazee as i said you know 
au hitaji agency au hitaji third party hii ni kitu unaweza jifanyia we mwenyewe unaweza fanya kila kitu from the start to the finish na ukuje hapa ujipata hii nchi uende ama UK uende Australia ama uende Canada so information iko kila mahali information iko kila mahali there are so many people mimi wanafanya youtube videos eh mimi wale watu wako genuine mimi wanasema like all the time ukinitumia message F, uh, facebook especially my my page inspire generations ukinitumia message pale uniambia tony nimepata admission of course si huwa nasema na nitakuwa tu honest huwa ni vizuri kukuwa honest si kila message nita reply sababu some of them are wako serious lakini ukiniambia tony mimi nimepata shule eh hey, tony mimi nimepata high 20 ama Tony mimi nishapata date ya visa interview eh hey, uni mse uni mse yako serious and nitakuja pale tuchapiane nita time ni kukall tujue tujue vile itakuwa nikupatie maswali zenye unaweza kuwa una, you can expect at the embassy vile ya kujibeba pale embassy and tuweze kusaidiana mazi so sitaki sitaki ukuwe scammed sitaki sitaki upitie story kama hii unako mse yako i finland hujamaliza hata 6 months Hmm? na uko uko na notice probably unataka kukuwa deported deported back home no stuck to pity situation kama hiyo ni situation nyingine sad ni story nyingine si poa ni story nyingine haiko poa kabisa haiko poa kabisa nita blame hawa si walichukua ndio ya watu nita blame pia wa mastude sababu i'm very sure hawa kufanya research right because kama mse alikuwa na 1.9 million you know kama na walikuwa wanalipa cash 1.9 million hii pesa ungelipa shule wewe mwenyewe you don't need a third party you don't need a third party to pay your school fees you don't need a third party to do your application you don't need a third party for anything but as i've said if you have money you can go ahead and pay the school you can go and, and pay them it's just okay that's your money i don't have a problem with that but pesa yako ikipotea usikuje ukilialia usiseme toni ya kukuambia right usiseme au kupata information usiseme oh siku anajui na kuaje mazi chukua simu yako ingia kwa youtube ingia kwa google tafuta information na of course msi kama mimi niko hapa you can reach out uniambie toni kuna shule nimepata hapa wamenipatia admission nilimelipa application fee na kila kitu all the school especially hapa US all the schools ukiingia kwa website yao kila kitu uko pale hmm? right kila kitu iko pale wako na information yote pale vile unaweza lipa school fees service fee book embassy i mean ni wasi unaweza tumia email na wa reply au hitaji sijui wewe tupatie kitu kidogo so that we can reply, we can reply your email or we can send such and this information no so ni wewe uchukue that initiative utafute information unjue shule iko wapi wa apply shule right provide the information yenye wanataka na kila kitu utakuwa smooth okay i hope wasi wangu umepata sababu sitaki tupitie through the, to go through this uh, to pt story staki it work when ni subscriber wa Tony and then unakuwa scammed mazi no 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 siezi si fit na si poa sawa sawa so i hope mkupoa i hope mkupoa tutazidi tutazidi kushare this information na nyinyi so that tuweze ku grow kwa pamoja and as i said the other day every sunday lazima tukue na live video ama ni ni, ni upload a recorded video ndio tuweze ku grow kwa pamoja na kama siku zote huwa nasema Unajua unasema aje ya kwamba chochote chawezekana kama utatia BD na hakuna situation ambayo ni permanent kwa life ni wewe ujikaze ujitume kila siku. Hakuna kitu ambacho kinakuja kwa uraisi. Eh? Na kumbuka kuna time niliwaambia story fulani mzao wangu ananiambia kwamba wana niambia chochote ambacho kinakuja kwa uraisi kuna uwezekano kikapotea ama kiweze kupotea. Raisi tu hivyo. Eh? Ni kama wale wasi wa, wa, wanacheza lottery ama wale wanacheza wa sport pesa Kenya. Sawa sawa. Mtema shida 200 million. Okay? Hakuna hakukua na uchungu. Well, naweza sema <laughs> alikuwa na uchungu ya kukaza, <laughs> kukaza bet. <laughs> Ndio. 
but lazima ujitume lazima huwa anasema huwa ananiambia kwamba lazima kila kitu ambacho ni, ni vizuri kukuwa na historia ha? so that hata ukiambia watu nilipiti hapa nilipiti hapa kuna there's that experience so lazima ujitume kila siku hakuna kitu ambacho ni raisi. hata ukikuja hapa mazee sitakwambia like life ni raisi. lazima ujitume lazima ujikaze kila siku so that you can make it it doesn't come that easy hakuna mahali watu wanakuja huku wanaokota pesa kwa miti yeah na i know we tutakuja kupiga story hapa unajua kuna watu wafikiria maybe ukikuja marekani wapata unapata dola zime zimetupwa chini alafu unaanza unaanza kuokota ah mazee hapana lazima ujitume ndio upate hiyo dola lazima ujitume lazima ujikaze you have to make some smart moves some decisions you have like lazima ujitume so hakuna kitu ambacho kinakuja kwa uraisi hakuna mahali ambapo ni raisi ukikuja huko lazima ujitume na hivyo sitaki as you go through that process of trying to come to this place i don't want you to kupata na watu kama hao wapotena ndo yako na watu watakuosha vibaya people don't care hiyo ndio state tuko people don't care mtu atakuosha hataki kujua kama uliuza shamba hataki kujua kama uliuza ngombe hataki kujua ulikuwa umefanya nini atakuosha hiyo pesa vibaya because of ignorant yeah because of ignorant yeah wazungu walisema information is power information is power information is power na ni kweli chukua information unajua most of the time tunapenda shortcut sana ah ukisikia huko kuna agency mahali walipe sio moja 100000 Kenyan shillings and then wanipatie wanifanyie shughuli yangu mazi tunapenda shortcut sana yeah that's why tunalipa hongo tuna corruption sijui nini so many stuff sababu tunapenda unataka like kama barabara inapita hivi wewe unataka upiti hapa katikati ndio utokee uko mbele mazi zi no Yeah so lazima 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 man lazima tuchanuke lazima tutafute information lazima tujikaze tusijipate kwa situation kama hii imagine leo umeamka umepoteza 1.9 million niambie mzazi yako wapi sasa hivi wakati anasikia hiyo story ha huh? Yeah uniambie huyu mtu like huyu msi huyu msi yako wapi yani huyu mzazi anafilaje huyu hata huyu student anafilaje imagine 1.9 million 1.9 million Kenyan shillings Huh? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Like yule pesa mingi. Pesa mingi no matter sana. Yaani pesa inaweza kukusukuma probably three semesters or even four semesters. Hapa, hapa US. So wacha tu, wacha tu tusijipate kwa noma kama hii. Yeah. Mazi, ni hayo tu nilikuwa tunao. Nilitaka nuo pati information. Of course kuna watu walikuwa wameniambia nizungumzie stories za rent tutapiga hiyo video itakuja very soon there are so many other places there are so many other places there are so many other places na kuna yeah kuna places tunaweza so many places tunaweza pare information so maze i this is what i wanted to tell you today ndio tuweze kugroup pamoja so that you guys can know what is happening so if it's possible share this video with your friends share this video with your relatives i mean msim ukisikia kuna msia nataka kuja hapa mpatie channel maze muambie Angalia kijana anaweza akakuwa anasema one two three things zenye zinaweza zikafanya nini zinaweza zikakusaidia maze. ama ni aje so usikuwe mchoyo unajua sisi wa Afrika kitu kingine inaua inatuumiza vibaya ni kukuwa wachoyo kama hapa US maze. if kama kuna wasio wanaweza akakuweka kwa noma ni watu you know watu wa nyumbani yani wanaweza kukufix kwa noma vibaya sana i don't see you shida tu inakuanga wapi nitakuja kuwapatia story fulani hapo I think we need to go back to Masaibu. Masaibu hapa Marekani episode number 2. Yeah? Masaibu hapa Marekani episode number 2. Sikia vinyo wase wamekanyangwa hapa, wameteswa na watu na wakenya wenzao my friend. Huh? Nilikuwa na watch the other day Kibe. Kibe alikuwa anasema kama kuna watu nafaa kutoroka hapa ni wakenya. <laughs> Ama watu wa kutoka kwenu, especially ukikuja hapa US. <laughs> watu wanaweza kuweka kwa noma vibaya sana. Vibaya sana. Yeah sababu ukipata watu wana like i mean like like ukipata msi anakuibia do Kenya and then mkuje tu na eh, the same mentality and later tu hapa eh yani unapata mkenya mwenzako badala ya kusaidia yeye ndiye anakuosha like yeye ndiye anakuweka kwa noma vibaya sana 
No washindo hii ni story gani tena. Tulitoka Kenya and then tunaleta tunaleta the same thing tunaleta tu hapo mazi. Like it's it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. Right? But mimi ni watu wangu wa power, ni watu wangu nyumbani mazina siezi taka. Yeah. Siezi taka tu mpitie story kama hiyo. So kama you don't need nimekwambia like kabisa au you don't need an agency. Lakini kama una doni sawa wewe ndio ulipe do yako. Sisi wengine tulitoka huko Shago tulikuwa huko Hocha interior. So other stories za sijui ni agency mimi hata sikuwa najua agency ni nini. Nilikuja Nairobi ni kabini nitafute nilikuwa well nilikuwa najua na information especially huko Nairobi West zimejaa huko. But kwenda huko nikaambiwa sijui 300,000 nikasema 300,000 hata sina ni nitoe wapi? Hmm. Nilingia kwa internet my friend nilikuwa naenda kazi nikimaliza kazi yangu na jificha na ka computer pale yeah? within like mi story yangu nilifanya like from the time nilianza ku apply kutafuta shule kutafuta passport five months nilikuwa nishapata visa so true story so ni wewe ujitume i mean tafuta hiyo information vile utapata Yeah, otherwise utaosho vibaya. Utaosho vibaya sana. Na hawana mchezo. Hawana huruma. So mazee kama unaweza share hii video, share hii video na marafiki zako, share hii video na marela, share hii video na watu, you know anybody. Like the video, like the video, watch it trend, watch watu pa information ndio sisi. I mean I don't know. So that we can grow together mazee. Yeah? So that we can grow together. So nivo tumaze and um, kama siku zote wanasema if you haven't subscribed make sure that you may subscribe like the video share na marafiki zako maze sasa hizi ni sasa hizi ni saa sita usiku hapa saa sita usiku hapa but nilisema lazima lazima nifanye hii video lazima niongee na nyinyi watu wa kwangu tujue itakuwaje tuweze kusaidiana so sawa so nivo tuko sasa maze i'll see you in the next video Uh, of course on sunday probably i may nitajaribu on wednesday kuna vile kuna vile nimeshikana vibaya sana but on wednesday hopefully nita uh, we will have another video on this channel and then pia kuna ile channel nyingine ambayo inaitwa inspire generation of course for those people who want to get more information about international students i have another channel inaitwa inspire generations inspire generations unaweza fika pale there are some videos especially more concerning international student the f1 visa the question that you should expect the schools and so many other stuff for pale unaweza fika pale u subscribe na pia u share na marafiki zako so that we can grow together so nivo tumazi kwa sasa i'll see you in the next video may god bless you mko na weekend nzuri najua nyinyi mnamalizia kwa weekend pale mmshaingia sande but na watokea weekend mmalize weekend vizuri eh sawa sawa na mko na weekend njema And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now. Na Mungu awabariki tu sana. Na tusikue ignorant. Tutoe ushamba. Sawa sawa hata kama unatoka hocha kama mimi usikue mshamba my friend. Sawa sawa. <laughs> Tutaonana watu wa kwangu.